all that people Bree Slay here aka the beauty plug all that connects you to your beautiful and today's video is going to be about some new releases well re-releases they were out before and whether the company reformulated it or not it's been re-released and also something new that I picked up so no this may or may not be released on a what's new wednesday but i'm still going to bring you the decent treats on it so if you're ready to see what i picked up and if you're ready to see the new releases of 2023 or the new sorry re-releases of 2023 then um come on now you know what to do Okay, so the first re-release that I'm going to talk about is by Viva La Juicy and, well, Juicy Couture, Viva La Juicy line. And so a lot of people do not mess with Viva La Juicy because it's, well, in the age range of 20s to 30s, 40s, 50, grown and sexy, don't really mess with Viva La Juicy or Juicy Couture because it's said to be juvenile. Um... Viva La Juicy Couture Gold, I'll post a picture of it, I have, and I absolutely adore it because it reminds me of a very sexy now 2014 edition by Victoria's Secret that is no longer, that's no, that, that it's no longer in existence. Um, I love that. It smells great on me. I get compliments every time. And so Viva, Viva La Juicy Couture Gold is very well complimented. So when I recently went into Macy's, um, my sales rep, she was like, listen, I have this. You can smell it. Um, not sure if it's really a speed, but smell it. And so I smelled it and I was like, hmm, this smells good. Delish. Okay. And that is Viva La Juicy Sucre. Now, Sucre Viva La Juicy was released originally in 2016. It got reformulated and re-released 2023. And I'm going to give you some notes on it. So the top notes are red currant, mandarin, gardenia. Middle notes are alm almond cream, peach, orange blossom, and jasmine, and base notes of whipped cream, vanilla, cacao, and sandalwood. Smelling like a whole snack, okay? So if you don't know, my scents, I love a woody, I love a rose scent. I love patchouli because patchouli makes fragrances last and it lasts very long on me. And patchouli happens to smell good on me. I like oud. I like saffron. I like coconuts. Okay, so those are the things that I'm into. I have a plethora of fragrances. I think I'm now up to 200 and, according to Fragrantica, maybe 260. Not really sure yet. Back to this. So Viva La Juicy Sucre is a 3.4 fluid ounce. I believe I paid $115. May have been a little more or less. And so let's look at the packaging. So the box is, as you can see, Viva La Juicy. It's a little Barbie girl doll, Barbie doll, Barbie girlish, you know? Fitting for the movie that just was released July 21st. But check this out. If this is not the cutest thing I've ever seen. Now, yes, it's giving teeny bopper. It's giving teenage vibes, but it smells amazing. Okay. So here we have the little pink row, pink bow. It's very girly. The icing dripping on it in a cupcake. Like a, this is the bottom of it is like a cupcake foil. And essentially the same that you want to smell like a snack like a whole cake all right so i have my i have my automizer here and i'm gonna just spray the automizer now i smell this on paper in the store and fell in love. Now I'm going to spray it on my body. See what it's giving. We're going to let that dry and sit a little bit. On initial spray, I get the mandarin, I get the gardenia. I think that's why I like this because it's sweet, but it also has a floral to it. So it has gourmand and floral notes to it. And I think that's what I really like and appreciate about this. You can never go wrong. It's a safe buy. Listen, 
if nothing else, the bottle is Gorgina, okay? If nothing else, like I love it. So listen, if you are looking into like a sweet floral, um, sweet kind of cake-like floral-like scent, and you, it's likable, it's everyday wear, you can wear it, you want a pretty bottle on your vanity, yeah, I'll buy things just for the bottle and will. Um, then I suggest that you go ahead and check this out. This is gonna be a very likable fragrance. Is it ultra grown and sexy? No. However, is it a major compliment getter? Absolutely. Okay, so again, summer day, running out real quick, putting on a quick little dress, going out to eat, so your friend calls you up and be like, listen, let's go get something to eat. Let's, let's, let's go outside. Let's have a little cocktail. And you want to throw something on light and fresh? This is it for you. So I would say this is definitely going to stay in my collection. I feel like this will actually layer well with um, Chirosa 60. You know what I mean. The Bum Bum Cream. This would layer really well with the Bum Bum Cream. Because the Bum Bum Cream has that really nice authentic, nutty, creamy type of smell. So I think these two would layer absolutely well together. As far as longevity goes, I'm not really sure about the longevity. I know that there is gonna be a, some some projection initial on initial spray for the first one first hour and sillage maybe, maybe. But as far as longevity, I'm not really sure what the longevity is going to be on this. I haven't tried it out. Um, however, I do feel like it's a pretty girl scent. It's cute. You know what I mean? So if you want a scent that's cute and you want a little something that, you know, you don't have to break the break, bank the, break the bank in, then I suggest that you go pick this up. Again, that is Viva La Juicy Sucre um, by Juicy Couture. Next. Now, the next fragrance was a re-release, is also a re-release for 2023, and they've changed the packaging. Not sure if they changed the formula or the formulation to it as well. And this fragrance is by Givenchy. Now, Givenchy, I have a few fragrances. I have added, recently added to my collection, Givenchy Irresistible. I've had Givenchy Irresistible a la Rose, I believe. Um, I had that first. Um, and I've had some other Givenchy. And so this is not a house that I usually gravitate towards. When they came up with Givenchy Irresistible, um, I got a decan of it. And then I like the A La Rose, I believe it's called. I, it's in a cream pink bottle. I got that because I like rose and I like creamy scents as well. So when I went again to Macy's, um, the sales rep was like, listen, um, Givenchy just released something new. It's reformulated. Re well, it's new. However, when I looked it up and did some further research, come to find out it's not new. The packaging just has been reformulated and it's just been re-released. Okay. So Dahlia was released in 2014. It has top notes of Maribel. So when I look at Maribel, Maribel looks like a fruit, almost like a little, like a yellow cherry. I'm not really sure if it's a cherry or a plum, but it's a yellow round fruit with a stem. Citruses and pink pepper. It has middle notes of jasmine and sandback. Peach, orange blossom, rose, black currant, lily of the valley. Love, love, love fragrances with lily of the valley. And apple. Base notes of patchouli. Now you know your girl like a patchouli. Sandalwood, vetiver, vanilla, white musk, and cedar. So I'm a sucker for a woodsy fragrance. Woodsy fragrances smell really good on me. I'm a sucker for them. Um, so... Let's see what this is. So I sprayed it in store. I liked it. This is starting to smell better and better as I spray it. Okay. So the old packaging used to be, the old bottle used to be rectangular. You know, this packaging, I love this because it's minimalistic and it almost looks very chic to me. Um, this is a Eau de Parfum, and this is the 100 ml, 3.3 fluid ounce. I forget what the price was of this. I don't know, I just ran it up on the credit card. I just ran it up. Um, but we're gonna see, because I tried it in the store, liked it, walked around, and then I was like, you know what, give me a bottle of that. And also too, this was my retail therapy, so. I hope I like it now. All right, let me get a new test strip. Okay. All right. 
let's see. I don't even know if I mentioned the name of this. This is Givenchy Dahlia Divine, by the way. So when I smell this, I get the citrus. I definitely get the rose. I get the jasmine. I get the lily of the valley. I also get a little iris in here because it smells powdery to me. And that might be the white musk. So we're gonna go ahead and spray that on this arm right here. Let's look at the atomizer. Now here's how I'm feeling about this. I sprayed this on my hand in the store and could smell it even after I left the store. So I feel like this longevity is gonna be longevity in. I feel like the sillage and projection is gonna be amazing on this. And I feel like this is the grown and sexy smell. This is a smell of... Now, you have to be careful because depending on your chemistry, it can lean a little bit mature. Okay, it can lean a little bit mature. But on me, however, it's giving divine. It's giving all the things, okay? I really like this. I think this will actually do well in the fall months. This smells more like a transition fragrance when it goes from summer to fall and you have that period where it's kind of hot but not hot, it gets kind of cool. I think this would be excellent for that. I think this would do really well in the day or the nighttime. I think that this is also date appropriate. I like this a lot. It's giving a sweeter version. If you like Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel, but it's too, the patchouli is too much for you in that. Um, and it, it, it's just too much. I feel like Dahlia Divine or Divin by Givenchy, you'll like this. Cause it gives you that soapy yet, and it doesn't have aldehydes in it, but it gives you that soapy yet sweet yet sexy, yet musk type of smell. So again, if you like a musk, if you like sweet, if you like patchouli, if you like Coco Mademoiselle, but don't like Coco Mademoiselle because it's too much patchouli and it wanna knock you in your face, I suggest that you go check this out. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. This, this giving me rich auntie. But not the rich young auntie, like the rich auntie that's a little bit older, but she's still fly. That's what this is giving me. Mm -hmm. Okay, next fragrance. Okay, so another re-release um, that I'm gonna talk about is from the House of Tom Ford. So it said August 7th, I believe, Tom Ford is going to release um, re-release Cafe Rose. Um, so Cafe Rose is a fragrance by Tom Ford that was originally released in 2012. Um, I did some homework and the, the notes are the same, but where they're positioned, like base, top, mid, those are top, mid, base. Those are what changes in the formulation between 2012 and the recent one that's coming out in 2023 in August. So I was able to get my hands, right? on actually the decant from the actual bottle that's gonna be released. Um, I got a little hookup. And let's talk about it, okay? So the original release in 2012 came in the older, um, like the private blend, the original private blend Tom Ford bottles. This one, um, and I'm gonna post the picture right here so you'll see it. Um, it kind of is like a dark purple, has dark purple on it and the top notes in the 2012 Cafe Rose um, was Mary Rose, Saffron, Black Pepper. Middle notes of Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, which I love, and Coffee. And base notes of Patchouli, Incense, Sandalwood, and Amber. So that's the 2012 version. Now the 2023 version comes in a 
like almost like a pinkish like a merlot pinkish purple uh you see the you see it um colored bottle um the notes differ in the in the terms of where they're located so for the top notes for the 2023 release it's turkish rose and coffee in the top notes rather than in the in the mid notes for the 2025 version the mid notes is bulgarian rose patchouli cardamom ylang ylang and coriander coriander and ylang ylang is not in the original from 2012 patchouli is in the mid rather than in the, in the base like 20 the 2012 version and then in the base of this 2023 version you have frankincense and sandalwood so they take the frankincense and the sandalwood and they take that from 2012 in the base um and they, i'm sorry they keep it in the base the only thing they move around is they put the patchouli in the mid um so here's the thing frankincense and incense same thing okay sandalwood sandalwood now if you are a person who likes roses vanille if you like atomic rose by Inicio, roses vanille by um, mancera if you like my favorite signature scent is um louis vuitton the sabbath roses listen you won't like this this is it to me this reminds me of a little bit of rose prick i get some oud in here but this reminds me of ombre leather with rose it reminds me of a more feminine version of ombre leather now this is not a fragrance for summertime so don't even think about it this is definitely a fragrance for fall and winter I would not blind buy this. I would go in and actually smell this. Um, because while it doesn't have black pepper in the top notes like the 2012 version, I think the coriander is what I'm smelling in here. And I think this does better on the skin than it does on paper. Let me tell you something. The projection, the sillage and longevity, amazing noxious socks, so it's gonna clear the whole room out, just so you know. So if you wanna make a statement and you wanna smell rich, Go on ahead, honey. This the rich mama, the rich auntie, the rich grandma. This the rich. Okay? Okay. Next fragrance. Okay, so this next fragrance, I think that is a dupe for another fragrance. Um, I smelled it in store, and I'm like, this smells like something. And then when I looked at the notes, I was like, oh, this is a dupe for this. However, I have not tested it side by side. I'm actually unboxing it with you guys. Um... And this fragrance comes from Zara. Now, I love Zara fragrances. I am on the hunt always to find a Zara dupity dupe. Love them. And so, this fragrance by Zara is called, let's see, Memorable Aura, or Aura, whichever, however you want to pronounce it. And this retails for $29.90. And listen, let me tell you something, okay? Let me just open it. Well, first of all, let me read you the notes. Now, Zara doesn't like to put their notes on Fragrantica. It gives very much, um, it just doesn't give the notes. It gives you like two or three notes. And so this particular fragrance has mango notes and floral notes. So with me saying mango, what fragrance comes to mind that has been recently released in the past year or two? Put it in the comment section below. I'm gonna give you a minute while I open this. Okay, so this is the newer standard bottle for Zara's. This is giving you 2.7 fluid ounce. Here it is, okay. The juice is a little yellow, giving me mango water vibes. Um, so we're gonna take a spray. I wish I had coffee beans. And we're gonna spray this paper. Listen to me, I love this. I sprayed this in the store and I was like, hold on a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. Now, let's see. I'm gonna spray the dupe that I think they're, they're trying or it's it's in remnants of. Oh, and it is. Child, except this smells better. So, if you put it in the comment section below and you've got it right, I'm gonna tell you that it reminds me of 
Paco Rabanne's fame for women. It is, it's a dupe, ladies and gentlemen. It is a dupe, okay? It smells amazing. In fact, I think this smells better because even though it says mango and floral notes, I feel like this has a woody note in it as well. And I'm a sucker for woody. So either, it's either cedar in here, it's either, yeah, it smells like it's more so a cedar in here. Yeah, this it. This smell good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just off the paper. Mm. All right, so we're going to spray this on my hand. We'll spray this right here and see what it's giving. Okay. Take off my nose. Yeah, it's giving, listen. Ooh. I'm not going to edit that out either. It's giving tropical. It's giving island. Um, for me, I get the mango from beginning to middle to end. For some people, when they smell Paco Rabanne's fame, for women, they like, oh, I don't smell any mango. But I smell the mango. This is amazing. It's lovely. It's beautiful. If you like Paco Rabanne fame or you didn't like it because of the bottle, I personally like the bottle. Um, or you needed something a little bit more woodsy and it was a little too sweet for you. Listen, go on and get you memorable aura because this right here, you, you get it? Instead of fame, memorable aura, like which one would you prefer? I want my aura to be memorable. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. After a while, the mango starts to fade out. But I can still smell it. So, here's my review on all three of these fragrances. This is a definite slay. Okay? Slay. All right? This, this can stay in the store. Like, it's nothing that different about it. It's not over the top. It's not groundbreaking. It's cute, okay? This could stay in the store. Dahlia Divine or Divine, however you want to pronounce it by Givenchy. You would have to try this for yourself to see whether it slays or stays. For me, it's a slay and I'm keeping it in my collection. So that's that and that's it and that's all. But anyway, I hope this review was helpful. Um, this is the new fragrances that I got that were actually already released, but then re-released. And one of them included a dupe from Zara's. If you want a more in-depth video on me comparing Paco Rabanne fame to the memorable aura, memorable aura by Zara, then just leave a comment in the comments, comment bar. Just leave a comment, okay? <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you all for your support, for your prayers during this time for me. And I really, really appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay elevated, stay humble, stay beautiful, and stay blessed.